What would happen if Earth or a human fell into a black hole? It depends on the mass of the black hole is the technical answer. So if it's a small black hole, by which I mean just, you know, a few times the mass of our sun, uh, then it, you, you get ripped apart by the tidal gravitational forces before you actually fell in. So as you pro approach the event horizon of the black hole, it comes very nasty. But for the very big black holes, so like the big, the one we have a photograph of, we've got two photographs actually, one of the, pho one, of the one in the center of the Milky Way and one in the center of a galaxy called M87, which is a very big one. It's something like six billion times the mass of the sun. So a supermassive black hole in M87. It's 55 million light years away, that one. And if you fell towards that one, then as far as we know, you would fall across the horizon into the interior of the black uh, and you'd be unaffected. You wouldn't notice as you fell across the horizon. And then you'd have something like, I can't remember the exact number, but it's something like 30 hours-ish inside the black hole until you approach the singularity, which is in your future when you cross the horizon. So, so it's not something you can avoid. It, it's like trying to avoid tomorrow. You can't do that. So you go to this singularity, which is in Einstein's theory, the end of time. And just before you get there, you get spaghettified, which means you get stretched in one direction and squashed in the other. And even your atoms get ripped apart. And then you go to the end of time. So that's not nice. However, if you put quantum mechanics in, which goes back to Stephen Hawking's work in the 1970s, then we can start debating about what the horizon is and there are certain ideas that you might get when viewed from the outside you might look to get it might appear you get incinerated before you cross the horizon and all your ashes come back out into space again but from your perspective it seems that you wouldn't get incinerated from your perspective you'd go inside and then you get spaghettified and then the question is do you get vaporized or spaghettified and the answer might be both which is called black hole complementarity which is all very complicated